The Leafs wound up one point better than last year, but failed to score at least 200 goals for the first time in 34 years. A problem Toronto plans to address. We would like to get, obviously, a uh, second centerman that could uh, give us a little more offensive impetus. We'd also like to get a, a winger that could score a goal, so that's a lot of asking. Especially given what free agents like Brett Hall and Ron Francis will be asking. Mike Smith's solution? I are taking a collection from all the media guys to see if they want to give us some of their weekly pay. In other words, you're dead in the water. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that itself would probably get us in the big leagues. Of course, the big question is whether Mike Murphy will be retained as head coach. Oh, I, I, I don't know anything about that. You know, I mean, that's, uh, I have a contract for next year and I plan to, you know, be ready to work next year. How much would you like to see him back? Um, I think until we all sit down at the end of the year and review what went on this year and where we're going to go forward, I think I'll, we'll leave it at that. Though management plans to wait a while before making its decision, for the most part, the players have made up their minds they want Murphy back, if only because he managed to get the most out of what little he had to work with. It's a tough job. A lot of people, you know, want this and want that, but, you know, I think he did, did everything he could to... to you know, to get the most out of us. Yet most feel it wasn't enough and will have to be more next year. But rather than wholesale change, Murphy feels the players already here simply need more seasoning. The team doesn't have to be reconstructed. I think there's, uh, there's some areas that we have to improve upon, uh, maybe three or four areas. Uh, if we can do that, you'll see significant improvement in the team. Rob Sinclair for Sportsline.